Hello friends, today let's discuss how to manage cash basis taxes in order 50. So cash basis taxes are due only when the payment has been done and not at the time of validation of invoice. So reporting your expenses income uh, to the administration based on cash basis method is legal in some countries and under some conditions. So in order to activate this cash basis uh, taxes, first we have to go to configuration settings of accounting module. And here you can see the cash basis option already enabled. So here we can choose a tax cash basis journal. So already it is uh, chosen cash basis taxes. Here we can see the journal details. The type is miscellaneous. And you can uh, see the short code of this journal. And we can find the control access information. So this will create an entry for such taxes on a given account during reconciliation. So once done, save the settings. So I have already uh, activated this feature. So now let's open our taxes. And here we can find all the pre-configured taxes. So here you can see tax 20 percentage and this tax type is sales and tax is computed uh, by taking percentage of price. So you can see this 20 percentage and here we can uh, view the distribution for invoices and credit notes, uh, the account affected that is our regular tax account is tax received. Now just come under advanced options. Here we can set a tax due based on invoice and based on payment. So if you choose the first one, then the tax is due as soon as the invoice is validated and you can view uh, the due from the tax report. But if you choose the second one, tax is due only when the payment of the invoice is received, that is after registering the payment. And in this case, we have to choose a cash basis translation account. So I have already created a temporary tax account and this can be used to transition the tax amount for cash basis taxes. So it will contain the tax amount as long as the original invoice has been reconciled with the bank statement. So after reconciliation, uh, the amount in this account that is in this temporary tax account will be moved to the regular tax account. So in this case, our regular tax account is tax received. So now let's see how this works, like how tax due is done, is tracked based on payment. So for that, let's create a customer invoice. Choose a customer and here we can choose a invoice date. Then here we can add a product. So you can find this one as the income account and here we can find a default tax set on the product it's tax 15 percentage so let's close this and add our tax 20 percentage now if you confirm the invoice here we can find our journal items so here you can see uh, the account receivable uh, so in this account you can find there is a debit of 720 and our income account product sales there is a credit of 600 and you can see along with this we have our temporary tax account so in this account there is a credit of 120 so instead of the regular tax account this temporary tax account is taken only after reconciliation that is after registering the payment and reconciling with the bank statement it will be moved to uh, the amount will be moved to our regular tax account and now when you open tax report, so for this month you can see no entry is created because the payment is not done by the customer and it is not registered and not reconciled with the bank statement. So let's register the payment. Can choose a journal. You can see it is in payment. 
and here we can find the cash basis entry generated you can see the number then the invoice reference so this is a journal in which it is posted and here if you click on this you can find the journal items related to this cash basis entry and we can find the regular tax account to which we are moving our tax amount so here we can find the amount is 720 so now let's go back to our dashboard and create a bank statement And choose a proper journal and date and here we can add a transaction and choose a partner and here we can add the total amount Save it. So here we can find the computer balance. We just copy that and change the ending balance. Now let's pause this and reconcile. You can see automatically that customer payment is mapped. It's matched with the statement. Now we can validate this. So after reconciliation, here we can see it is moved to paid state. And now when you check the tax report, here we can see a new entry is added to this tax report. And you can find the total tax amount. So here we can click on it and view the general items for the tax audit. 20 percentage of the tax amount is added to the tax received account. We can find the amount in currency. So this is how we track the tax due based on the payment. And now if you change, if you set a uh, tax due based on invoice, so I'm setting this for tax 10 percentage. Now, if you create an invoice. I've added tax 10 percentage. Now confirm this invoice. So here for this tax 10 percentage, when you check audit, you can see entries are created. You can see the related invoice. So you can see 10 percentage of tax is moved to our regular tax account, tax receipt. So that's all for this video. And if you want to know how financial reports in order 15 are customized, you can check the link above. We have done a video on that. And if you're looking for any order remediation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cybrosis.com. Thank you.